everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my haul for the month of March. Um, I only have a couple of things to share with you, actually. Um, I've mentioned in quite a few of my other videos, I'm not buying as much as I was just because I'm not getting around to as many pages. So I'm kind of spreading out when I buy things because I noticed last year, especially towards the beginning of the year, I think it was, I was getting quite a few books and there are still some as you've seen from videos that I haven't worked in yet or I'm only just getting around to so just by spacing them out it gives me more of an opportunity to get around to things um so books for example like Malcolm and Chat 7 and Gitu's new book um I'm still deliberating about that it did come out um I could have got it this month if I wanted to but again I've waited um, there's still the new book by Stephanie Law that I am um, considering getting. There are always books on Amazon Japan that I'm considering getting, but I haven't really felt the need to just rush and get stuff, um, which kind of makes me happy in a way because my mindset's definitely changed. Um, you know, it's not so much about the the buying anymore. It never really was for me, but um, yeah, it's just not as big a, a bigger thing I guess I still love getting supplies and books but I just don't really you know it's not um quantity over quality if that makes sense so yeah I've got a couple of things to share with you that I'm excited about the first thing is something that I always recommend I absolutely love them and these are Derwent blender pens I could not color without these I use them on several different projects in fact I'm working on um a Clara Markova postcard at the moment. I will show it to you just because I didn't get around to sharing it in my completed pages and I have just started this in the latter part of March. But yeah, I'm using my Derwent Blender pens on pretty much everything for this and I love them. They just work so well, especially on these postcards. I find myself using them a lot. They, they just smooth everything out so well and I, I equally use them as much as blender pencils so they're definitely a great alternative and I have been recommended others which I'm hoping to try at some point but um, for ease I saw them and I needed some more so I thought I would just grab them. You can get them in WH Smith if you're in the UK, most of them sell them, not all of them. I know that Hobbycraft sell them, I think you can get them on Amazon but they might be a bit more expensive so they're roughly four pounds which is good and they last me a fair amount of time um if i don't use them in you know huge areas so yeah love them always highly recommend these um you know especially if you're a beginner or you're doing a background and you don't want to do too many layers they're a great thing to use so the next one i'm including it in my haul but it wasn't really intended to be a haul item um so when i was purchasing the books for my reese berman giveaway um the first one came damaged and i contacted amazon and i think i had intended to just try and get a replacement for it or get my money back but either way they said we'll give you your money back and you know, don't bother sending it back to us because I think sometimes, depending how much a book is, it's not really worth them asking for it back. So I ended up getting this for free um, and I got the replacement copy sent off. That was all fine. But yeah, this is mine, Summer Spazier Gang by Rita Berman. So I now have two copies of this and I do know what I'm going to, to do with this. Um, it is slightly damaged, not to the point where it would really bother me. But I didn't want to send it as a giveaway item if it's damaged. So you might not even be able to see because it is on the corner. But you can tell when it was um, obviously travelling, the, the corner has bent, uh, has bent. Sorry. So yeah, some of the corners of the pages are a little bit damaged. But yeah, I thought with this, I don't think I have told her yet. But um, my cousin Rosie, who has been on the channel quite a few times... Um, it's always so sweet and you know when we when we see Rosie and Noah she often wants to colour and we're going to Devon with them in May half term so I thought I would take this along in case we want to colour together um, and either way she can keep it because I have this book so um, 
yeah, Rosie, I'll give this to you either when we next see you or May half term. But I thought that would be really fun and, you know, possibly do a buddy colour, feature it in a video or something. So, yeah, that's that book. And Rita Berman's books are just gorgeous. I absolutely love them. And they're just, they're so much fun. And I can't wait to be able to work in this. I, I'm hoping to work in the spring one at some point before summer comes. Um, I was hoping to get around to the winter one and I just didn't because I was focusing on um, the Europe book but I would really really like to do some spring and summer pictures so that's that one. And then I have a couple more books to share with you. This first one was sent to me. I was contacted by the company Colour yeah? and this is the Four Seasons colouring book. Now I have seen that they've had lots of books in the past and um, if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I don't really colour a huge amount of mandalas and things like that Um, occasionally I do it sort of depends what the um, the pattern is and if it's too detailed or repetitive but this was completely different from some of their other books that I've seen and I haven't tried any of their books before and everyone always raves about the paper in this because it it is amazing. It's really, really thick cardstock. It's quite smooth. I'm wondering if marker would probably be best to use on this. Um, but it is incredibly thick. You know, you could colour one of these, frame it, or even just back it with card and um, have it up. It is so thick. And, you know, it's something a bit different as well. And I think it would just be fun to do with marker. I also like the fact that it is spiral bound. That's a nice touch. I don't have many books that are spiral bound. Um, and yeah, I haven't worked in it yet. I'm hoping that, you know, if I have the urge, I will work in it. There are definitely some really sweet ones in here. I like the, well, the winter ones especially. I really like. And there was, um, what was that? This tree. Oh, sorry, it's not the camera. Really like this um, autumn tree with the mushrooms. That would be a fun one to do. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very different style from what I am used to. And I think I don't, you know, I don't have many books that I can use marker in. So I think for some quick mindless sort of marker work, this would be great. Um, I believe you can get this on Amazon. Um, Calia are a French company and they were very, very kind and friendly to me. And I really appreciate them reaching out. And, you know, if they were thinking of doing any other books like this, I'd be really interested because seasons are my thing. I, I'm a seasonal colourist. I love books that go through the seasons. Um, you know, I love the, the progression of that. And I think this will appeal to a lot of people. And you've got the pages that are more um, detailed than others, but also there are landscapes. And it's just, yeah, really good mixture of pictures so the quality of the books are fantastic you know it is incredibly thick so yeah that might be something that you're interested in I'll have the link down below they did um, send that to me and um, yeah they've got lots of other books as well and supplies if you're interested okay and the last thing I have to share with you is something that I'm really excited about I can't remember how I found this I think I definitely saw a flip through on YouTube but I think that was after I saw it pop up on Amazon and it is a book by Hachette Heroes but it's not Disney and that was something that intrigued me to begin with because I thought oh I haven't really seen many Hachette Hero books that aren't Disney I thought that was all they did and so when I saw this I was really intrigued by it and just from the front cover I was like yeah I think I really like those illustrations um, so these are the same size as the smaller Disney books. Um, if I just grab one to show you. So I have this Disney um, portraits book to share with you. And it, yeah, it's exactly the same size. They're fairly small. They're even smaller than Rita Berman books. Can I just share that with you in case you're interested? Um, they're, they're a really good size. Great for travel. As you can see, it is quite a bit smaller actually. And I don't know exactly what it translates to. Um, I'm definitely going to butcher the pronunciation. Um, Boules de poil. 
uh, no idea if that's right but there's a hundred illustrations and it's so sweet so this is quite a not sketchy style just a little bit lighter than sort of dark black lines it's, they're definitely not um black they're more of a gray and i think i forgot to mention this is by diane defour uh, again i'm not sure if i'm saying her name right i apologize if i remember i'll put a link in the description for this i found it on amazon uk and i think it should be on amazon france i'm assuming possibly other amazons um but yeah i think it was about 450 it's really good value and um the lovely sammy very generously sent me some money on kofi so this is um bought with her money so i really appreciate that thank you so much sammy um but yeah they're just really really sweet illustrations you've got some that have the main image with a little wallpaper pattern which i actually really like because it's still really simple some that are more central images the the only thing with this in terms of the seasons is that it doesn't really go through a particular pattern other than it's sort of it's sort of autumn winter spring summer but amongst all of the pictures you have a couple that don't quite fit which doesn't matter to me at all but um yeah there are some that sort of go together and then others that that don't but they're so cute and um I can't wait to work in this hopefully at some point haven't decided yet whether i will approach the pictures with a really simple style or try and make things look realistic i guess it's not really the sort of thing that needs to be realistic because they're quite kind of cartoony animals which which is really sweet but yeah we'll see i'm looking forward to working in it and the polar bears um yeah really really cute so that is everything that i have to share with you um a uh, short video um although my videos did used to be shorter i just got used to talking more and more but um yeah thank you so much for watching that's everything i have to share with you for the month of march and i will see you all in my next video take care everyone bye